18 months ago, I quit freelancing to sell website templates. I went from working 10 hours a day, being completely burnt out and not knowing where my next paycheck would come from, to building a website template business that generates over $20,000 per month without any client work. And honestly, it's been the best decision I've ever made for my business and my life. So in this video, I'm gonna break down the reasons why I made the switch and how you can do it too if you're someone who's beginning to get a little frustrated with the freelance life. So let's talk freelancing. When I quit my nine to five, there were two things I was after, financial freedom and time freedom. And on the surface, it looked like freelancing would tick those boxes. But in reality, it was a very different story. The first big issue I had with freelancing was that I was still working on someone else's schedule. I had deadlines, meetings to attend and revisions to complete, all dictated by my clients. So when you put it side by side to my 9 to 5, the only difference was that I wasn't sitting in a corporate office anymore. But I still had to show up at a certain time, complete work by a certain time and answer to bosses, which in the freelance case, were my clients. Then the second issue was the finances. My income was directly tied to how many hours I could work, which meant there was a ceiling. I could only take on so many projects at once before I'm completely maxed out. So even though I was working 10 hour days, I was still capped at how much I could actually earn. Now, obviously you could hire people to scale past that ceiling, but that brings its own set of headaches like managing, training and costs. At that point, you're essentially building an agency, which having tried it myself is honestly more problems than freedom in my opinion. And then there's the constant grind of finding the clients themselves. I'd spend weeks grinding to find a project, complete it, get paid, and then I'd be right back at square one. The cycle never ended. It was this constant client chase that honestly drained me more than the actual work itself. But the thing that killed me the most was losing my creative freedom. The whole reason I got into web design in the first place was because I loved being creative and expressing myself through design. That's what got me excited about it. But freelancing completely killed that. Now, obviously some projects gave me more creative freedom than others, but more often than not, I was just stitching together someone else's vision, following their brand guidelines, their preferences and their ideas. And a lot of the time they didn't even really know what they wanted anyway. There was very little of my own creativity involved. And honestly, that sucked all of the enjoyment out of it for me. And on top of all of that, there's the clients themselves. Now, not every client was bad. Some were great. But we've all had those clients that would make you question why you even started doing this in the first place. So after a few months of freelancing, I was really starting to hate it. And that's when I started asking myself, what else could I do that would still let me design, but actually give me the freedom that I was looking for? So around that time, I had a client ask me to build their website in Framer. I'd never used it before, but I agreed anyway, because to be honest, at that point, I just really needed the project. And I thought, I just learn it. How hard can it be? And for context, it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. But I have a full video about how I learned Framer that I'll link in the description that you can check out after this video. But long story short, in my attempt to learn Framer, I came across the Framer template marketplace. And I decided to reverse engineer templates in order to learn the platform as quickly as possible. And during that process, I started thinking, what if instead of just using these templates to learn, I could actually create and sell them myself? But I had no idea about selling website templates or what goes into selling website templates, but I just thought, fuck it, who have I got to lose? So I took one of the websites I'd built as practice in Framer and converted it into a template, listed it on the Framer marketplace, and as time passed, sales started to come through. And by the end of that first month, I'd made just over $2,000 from that one template, which isn't a crazy amount, but it was enough to get me thinking. And that was the light bulb moment for me. I realized that everything I thought I'd get from freelancing, the freedom, the scalability, and the ability to actually own my time was all possible through this. First, the financial freedom. With templates, I could create something once and sell it over and over again. There was no more income ceiling tied to how many hours I could work in a day. Then there's the time freedom. Once I created the template, I didn't have to fulfill anything. There was no client meetings, no handover, nothing. I could literally make sales while I was sleeping. So my time was finally detached from my work. And then there's the creative freedom. With templates, I wasn't following anyone else's vision anymore. I could design whatever I wanted, however I wanted. It was up to me to go out there, figure out what people needed and create it. So at that point, I decided that I'm going all in on templates. But the problem was, I wasn't sure whether I could make enough from it consistently yet to feel confident quitting freelancing. So I did both. I kept taking on freelance projects while building up my template business on the side. And over the next few months, I built out my template store, launched a few more templates, and by April 2024, I was making two to $3,000 per month consistently. 
And that was the point that I decided to quit freelancing and go all in. And fast forward to today, that same template store has grown to over $20,000 per month consistently and is growing month on month. So if you're thinking about making this same transition, I've broken it down into seven steps I'd recommend based on everything I've learned over the last few years. Step one, don't quit freelancing straight away. I ran both for around five months before I felt confident enough to make the switch. And honestly, that safety net was crucial. See, the thing is, templates take time to build momentum. You need to get good at Framer, create quality products, build an audience and figure out how to sell. So if you quit freelancing too early and the template income isn't there yet, you're just adding unnecessary pressure on yourself. Use your freelance income to cover your bills while you're still learning and building this out properly. Step two, learn from people who are already doing this successfully. Back when I started, I spent a lot of time analyzing top selling templates, what made them work, how they were priced, what features they included and how they were presented. And I also looked at the creators themselves. Did they have their own stores? How are they driving traffic? Where were they building their audience? The goal here is not to just copy them, but to understand what's resonating with buyers and how successful creators are getting their templates in front of people. Step three, join the Framer Partner Program. This is a non-negotiable if you're serious about building a Framer template business. When you're part of the program, you earn 50% commission for one year whenever someone signs up to a paid Framer plan after using one of your templates. So on top of your template sales, you're also earning recurring revenue from Framer subscriptions. It's completely free to join and it can add some serious numbers to your income very quickly. Step four, create your first template. Use the skills you already have from freelancing. Take a website concept you've built before or create something based on what you're seeing work in the marketplace. Focus on quality over rushing it out. And remember, this is a template and it's built for someone else to customize. So make it as easy as possible to edit and balance that with not getting stuck in perfectionism. The reality is you won't know what works and what doesn't until you actually get it out there and start getting feedback. Launch it, see how people respond and then iterate from there. Step five, start building in public and growing an audience. By all means, get your templates on the Framer Marketplace to get in front of buyers quickly, but don't stop there. Pick one platform, whether that's Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, whatever works for you, and start sharing your process, your templates and what you're learning. Don't try to be everywhere at once. I focused on Twitter early on and that became and still is one of my biggest traffic sources. Step six, build your own template store. When you have your own store, you have full control over your pricing, your offers and how you present your templates. And you can also start building an email list, which very quickly becomes one of your most valuable assets. Having your own store gives you the control you need to build a long term, sustainable business. And finally, step seven, know when to make the leap. For me, it was when I was consistently making four or five thousand dollars per month from templates. But that number will be different for everyone based on your expenses and your situation. But the key is waiting until you have consistent income, not just one good month. Now, if I could go back and do this all over again, there's a few things that I'd do differently that would have saved me a lot of time and a lot of money. So here's a couple things I wish I knew before I started. First, don't rely solely on the frame of marketplace for your income. When I started, all my sales were coming from the marketplace. But here's what I didn't realize. When they update their algorithm or change the rankings or change anything, your income can completely shift overnight and you have zero control over it. And that's exactly what happened to me. My template was floating around the top of the rankings and bringing in a solid two to 3K per month. And then Framer made some changes to their ranking system and overnight, my template was buried and my sales completely collapsed. That's when I realized that I needed to build my own traffic sources and have my own store. So my business is in my hands. Second, do not underprice your templates. When I launched my first template, I priced it at $29 initially because I thought cheaper meant more sales, but I was completely wrong. Every time I raised my prices, my sales actually increased. See, people associate price with quality, especially for things like design. So in the buyer's mind, a $29 template feels cheap, whereas a $100 plus template feels premium, and therefore you'll get more attention if you price higher. If I was starting over, I'd price my templates at at least $100 from the jump. Just remember, higher price equals higher perceived value. Which leads me on to the final point. Build a real offer, not just the template. In the beginning, I was literally just selling the template, like just the Framer Remix link. But when I start adding more value, like a video course showing how to customize it, email support and lifetime updates, my sales increase significantly. 
the wider the gap between what they're paying and what they're getting, the easier it is to sell. So don't just sell a template, build an actual offer around it that makes the price feel like a no-brainer. Now, I mentioned that building an audience was crucial to my success, and one of the best platforms for doing that as a web designer is Twitter or X. So check out this video where I break down exactly how I built my audience on Twitter from zero followers and how you can do the same. I appreciate your time and I'll see you there.